Hi, my name is Vinny. I'm a rising senior at Shamana High School, and this is the first milestone video for my intensive project, the Pulse Sensor Forearm Band. It is essentially a device that will detect my heartbeats when I put my finger on top of the pulse sensor, and it'll display the beats per minute as well as a cardiogram. Right now, I have a simple device wired on a piece of breadboard that will do these basic functions for me. It has three basic components, an Arduino Nano, an OLED display, and a pulse sensor. Right now, I'm powering my Arduino to my laptop, and both the OLED display and the pulse sensor are connected to the 3.3 volts pin on the Arduino. And I'm also using this AVR programmer in order to upload codes to my Arduino. And now finally, here's how it works. The pulse sensor has an emitter LED that will shine light into my fingertip. Um, right next to the uh, LED, there is a photodiode detector that will pick up the amount of light reflected back from my fingertip and convert it to an electric current. During the systolic phase of the cardiac cycle, the heart contracts and a surge of blood is going to travel to the capillaries of my fingertip. And more light this way will be reflected back to the photodiode, causing a stronger signal. On the contrary, during the diastolic phase of the cardiac cycle, less light will be reflected back to the photodiode, therefore causing a weaker signal. The signal is then going to be, uh, going to be amplified through an operational amplifier inside the pulse sensor right here. The output of the pulse sensor is connected to the analog pin A0 of the Arduino. I use the analog pin instead of digital because digital signals only have two states, either high or low. In other words, on or off. But in order for the Arduino to graph a cardiogram, it's going to need to be able to receive a full range of voltages, therefore I use the analog pin. So finally, the Arduino reads the data coming from pin 80 and does the calculations and finally commands the OLED screen to display the data. A lot of coding was involved to do this. I was able to find source codes from two different websites and added a lot of my own modifications to make this work. The algorithm of calculating the beats per minute is very advanced. It utilizes the IVI value, which stands for inner beat interval, it is the amount of milliseconds between each two consecutive beats. The beats per minute is then calculated by dividing 60,000 milliseconds by the IBI value. The divisor IBI value is derived from the average of the last 10 IBIs to ensure accuracy and also a consistent BPM value. Finally, to display graphics on the OLED display, I use the UAG graphics library. So now I'll demo my project. As you can see, I put my finger on the pulse sensor and wrapped it around a piece of Velcro strap. And on the OLED screen right now, we have the cardiogram for my heartbeats right here. And at the bottom of the screen, we have the BPM value, the beats per minute, and also the IBI value, the interbeat interval. And now I'll take my finger out of the Velcro strap and as you can see the BPM and IBI goes back to zero.